Australia will keep international tourists out, at least until 2022. The Australian government announced that they will block foreign tourists until next year. They will instead give priority to international students and badly needed skilled migrants. In this video, we talk about Australia's plan to open international borders. Check out how the government plans to gradually start accepting more inbound travelers. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. Australia, which has been one of the most restrictive countries in the world, when it comes to combating the COVID-19 pandemic, will continue to block international tourists at least into 2022. Foreign tourists won't be welcomed back to Australia until at least next year, Prime Minister Scott Morrison stated on 5 October. Instead, Scott Morrison announced skilled migrants and students will be given priority for entering the country which has had a strict travel ban in place since March last year. As for a date when restrictions will be fully lifted, that remains to be seen as 2022 is obviously vague. The Australian Tourism Export Council wants to have international travel up and running by March of next year to bring the tourism dollars back to the country. The pandemic has also had a disastrous effect on Australian universities, that rely heavily on fees paid by international students. The education sector fears that students will enrol in other countries unless Australia opens its border to them soon. New South Wales and Victoria recently announced pilot plans to facilitate international students' return to Australia. Some 500 international students could return via New South Wales pilot plan in December, while in Victoria, the number will be set at 120 a week at first. The return to Australia cost for international students will be different in each state. It has been reported that quarantine will be free for students in New South Wales, but universities in Victoria will decide who foots the quarantine cost which is 5000 Australian dollars. According to the New South Wales International Student Arrivals Pilot Plan, international students will quarantine in purpose-built student accommodation in Sydney and adhere to the same health and quarantine requirements set by the Australian government for returning Australians. International students who return to Australia must be fully vaccinated with a therapeutic good administration recognized COVID-19 vaccination before landing in Sydney. Currently, this includes AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. Australia's international borders could reopen for vaccinated travelers in New South Wales, as early as the 1st of November, under a fast-tracked plan announced by Prime Minister Scott Morrison to allow Australians to take their lives back. The proposal outlined by the Prime Minister follows discussions with the New South Wales Premier, Dominic Perrottet about fast-tracking the rollout of home quarantine. The move away from 14 days of hotel quarantine for vaccinated travellers is regarded as a crucial step 
before international travel can start ramping up to pre-pandemic levels. Mr. Morrison said, it was a stunning achievement that over half of the adult population has now been vaccinated. We have now administered more than 30 million vaccines around the country. That's 82.2% of eligible over 16 who have had the first dose and 61.9% with both doses. The new rules for international travellers will allow travel for double vaccinated Australians and require pre-flight COVID tests. It will also require the lifting of current international arrival caps that were put in place to manage home quarantine. Do you have plans to travel to Australia? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.